should always keep an eye on what state government does because sometimes it can be a shocker. Like we heard today out of Victoria. Their Corruption Commission released a damning finding about the corruption in prisons in Victoria. Again, I bet you didn't see this on your 6pm news. Good luck finding this anywhere in the newspapers tomorrow. But according to the IBAC report, Anti-Corruption Commission has blown the lid off a secretive criminal culture festering behind bars, including excessive use of force, inappropriate strip searches, the smuggling of contraband and romantic relationships between prisoners and staff. Meantime, here in Queensland, there is another case of COVID-19 and the future governor of Queensland is, of course, carrying out her current role of scaring the population. A lady from Portugal has then ended up with exactly the same virus as the gentleman from Mongolia. So we are thinking, but we really need to do further investigation, that through a fomite transmission process, that that staff member has transferred the virus. Now, where could this case have come from? Was it the couple who, of course, drove from Melbourne up to the Sunshine Coast? No, because remember, it was only uh, the driver and their passenger who ended up getting the virus. Where could it have come from? Oh, that's right. A leak out of a worker in hotel quarantine. You know, the system that kept us safe for so long in Queensland and the rest of the country. Now, as always, the Queensland government, when there are questions to answer and some planning to do, they have to change the subject. So, doing his best... The fool that is the future Premier of Queensland, the current Deputy Premier, that idiot Stephen Miles, well, he, of course, changed the subject today to blaming the federal government about hotel quarantine. So it's his policy. It's their system. It's their system that, remember, previously has resulted in lockdowns because they have not done enough vaccinating of the workers in hotel quarantine. The latest case that is the latest reason to scare the public with the media following along with a COVID emergency, as they like to say over on Channel 9. Well, their system is the reason why the most latest case exists. But will you read it in the papers? Probably not. Will you see it on telly? Guaranteed not. But sadly, I've got some bad news here for you, which is this policy and this political tactic of trying to blame the federal government for everything sadly works. Let me explain. We've got polling today from the Essential Media Organisation, which is left-leaning and turns up in the Turnbull Times. When Australians were asked about who do you blame for the most recent outbreak and therefore lockdowns in Victoria, well, guess what? 41% of people said that it was the, yet again, failures of the Victorian government when it came to hotel quarantine, which, remember, was one of the reasons why this took place. And 59% of people, however, believe that the reason there was a lockdown in Victoria was because there wasn't a federal government funded specific centre when it comes to quarantine. So the blame shifting of state governments who of course want to win elections after keeping us safe, despite having systems that don't keep them safe, now want to blame the federal government before its election for the very failures of the same system that they claimed was the one that was so amazing and was keeping us safe. And again, I apologise, but this politics of distraction is working. Because when people were asked about what is the long-term solution when it comes to Australians returning to their country, where should they do quarantine? Well, a very small number of people have suggested that people should be able to do it at home. An even smaller number believe that hotels are the place where people to go. And a whopping 65% of people believe that a federal government proposed built facility, purpose-built facility, is the one that needs to be built. So the politics has shifted from, don't you love it, all the ups of keeping people safe and then it's the federal government's fault for the very system that the states have been in charge of for a long period of time. So watch this space. 